Here are some of my favorite lo-fi pianos. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to cover lo-fi piano sounds. You know, not that it has to be lo-fi pianos, but I found if you have something you can just grab right when you sit down at the computer to make music and you're not spending 30, 45 minutes just looking for something to make music with, which can totally kill your momentum, right? So I want to cover that in this video and a lot of them are actually free. Okay, so you might recognize this first one. I put this one in YouTube shorts uh, one or two years ago. And what I love about this one is it's utilizing FL keys, which is, you know, a super old instrument uh, with FL, kind of a legendary one, but a lot of people pull up FL keys, they're like, oh, I can't stand this thing. This one's really fun. It's basically just using a string of stock effects to get a good sound. And a lot of people probably discovered the channel through this one. So anyway, yeah, that's the FL Keys free lo-fi piano. You can find that in the link in the description below. All right, so a big shout out to David Hillowitz Music for developing this thing called Decent Sampler. Uh, and this one, I'm using something called Old Piano, which is a really, really low volume piano recording sample uh, that you can load into Decent Sampler. And then I'm just doing a few extra things in Ableton, and you can obviously use other uh, plugins and presets with it to enhance it. But anyway, this is what it sounds like. So you can hear it has a really nice sound. I think the inspiration behind this lo-fi piano is to record something at very, very quiet levels. So you're also going to hear a lot more of the noise floor, uh, which gives it a lot of character and vibe. And then I also have some optional things I do with it, like I use RC20, and this will add a lot more character and wobble to it if I want to make it much more sort of distorted and, and messed up sounding. And the neat thing about this plugin is it has basically a mix lever right here. So Magnatune is basically like dry wet. And I just sort of dial it into if I want to add some of that character as well on top of it. Okay, so here's a preset I made for Ableton Live users called the Classic. And it's basically using the electric instrument in Ableton Live. I also have this sort of classic ambience uh, custom effects rack that I developed, and then some saturation at the end. It works really well for that classic Fender Rhodes sound, but it has a little extra stuff on it with the reverbs and delays. All right, so here we have another one that is just using the Ableton Live stock presets. It's like the classic, but... This one has a more mellow sound to it. And it's kind of making more use of like the cabinet, a lot of the drive and color plugins that are in Ableton.
Okay, so here we have the free lo-fi piano through Steinberg. And this is a really cool thing to check out. Um, you basically have to download Helion Sonic to use it, kind of like how Native Instruments has Contact um, or the free decent sampler. So this is just another platform for sounds and samples you can download. It's got a really cool interface, got a bunch of presets. A lot of them sound similar, but it's really easy to jump around and get different sounds. And some of them do have very unique sounds from one another. So this is a really nice one. I like um, Shopping Mall because it kind of has that sort of vaporwave sound to it. It's a cool, like, like kind of a cool um, bandpass filtered kind of sound. Okay, so here we have the Lo-Fi Keys by Clark Audio. This is an amazing, amazing free Lo-Fi piano. The one problem with it is I think they've ceased the uh, support for this instrument. So you might run into some issues like if you change your buffer rate in your DAW, this thing might start making a lot of clicks and pop sounds. You have to like restart your DAW. So it's it's got some technical issues with it, but it still works fine if you just pull it up into your DAW. And it's just really nice. When you go through the presets, they're actually really interesting. So this one's called Vintage Detune. It's really nice, got a very distinct sound to it. And immediately when I heard it, I was like, oh, I might as well turn up the reverb. So you can hear the reverb here. Very kind of stereo, chorusy, lots of dimension to it. Here's some other presets. Very distinct. And this is more of like a pad, really, right? Yeah, so. It's really more of like a pad. I think it's because you can uh, use the attack, decay, and release things. So sort of like an ADSR type deal where it's kind of like a synthesizer and that gives you access to, you know, more pad-like sounds. Uh, it's really, really nice. My experience, don't change your buffer rate when you have this active in your DAW. Okay, so here's a preset I designed for Serum. A lot of people have bought Serum in the past. They might have it on their computer and have kind of thought of it as just a synthesizer. I'm going to do a tutorial just on lo-fi piano or keyboard type sounds in Serum and also arpeggiations and stuff like that um, to help people. But yeah, it's just a really fun preset. And uh, yeah, it's just really fun. Got a nice kind of wavy sound to it. Okay, so here's another preset that makes use of a really popular synthesizer. This is Omnisphere, so similar to Serum. This one comes loaded with a lot of presets and is really, really, has a lot of depth to it if you want to program on it. This one's a little more cinematic. Um, it's got a really interesting tone to it though. Has some vinyl crackle in the background. So yeah, this is a really nice one. Okay, so now we're getting into some of the paid lo-fi piano or piano presets I really love to use. This is Verticale Felt by Sonora Cinematic, a really great company. When they sent this to me, um, it was described as sort of this perfect lo-fi piano sound. Um, I think the idea is it uses four layers of felt when they did the actual recording, like the sampling of this piano. And this is its felt setting. And 
I'm actually planning on doing a full review of this contact instrument because it's really, really good. Um, and I've used it a lot. That's just on its basic setting. You also get different mic placements. You have a whole cassette section where you can do some, uh, I think these are bit crush kind of uh, effects. You can go into a mono mode, got some background sounds, release and dynamic range. And it has a really, really cool reverb and delay uh, feature. Highly, highly recommend this one if you're looking for specifically a lo-fi piano that you can use all the time. Okay, so since we're still in contact, I might as well do Noir Felt by Native Instruments. Uh, this is really, really well done. This comes with Complete. I think it's developed by a company with Native called Galaxy Instruments. And it's a really, really good um, all around piano. It does lo-fi piano sounds pretty well. It's also got some kind of interesting granular type effects to it, which you can find in its particles engine. So this one's got a lot going on with it, but it does have noises, tone, um, you can kind of customize your sounds really well, and it has great presets too. So this is just a really nice kind of usable um, piano sound that you can make use of. Okay, so one more contact instrument. I've got Una Corda, which is kind of a classic Native Instruments contact instrument. Um, this one is sort of well known for, it's. I think it was made in development with Niels Fromm, a really, really great um, neoclassical style ambient type uh, producer uh, based in Germany. And um, it's based off a really interesting instrument. You can watch some videos probably about it and check out more about it. but. It's just got a lot of really great sound design elements in it, a lot of great background noises and different tonal properties you can add to it. And this is one of its presets. Okay, so I'm going to consider this one an honorable mention just because this video is about lo-fi pianos and people have asked me about Keyscape. It's from Spectrosonics, the same company that makes Omnisphere. And this is actually an incredible instrument to, to get. It's got a lot of great pianos in it, a lot of stuff you could just pick as your default, just pull it up every single day and start coming up with ideas on the keyboards with. It doesn't really have typically like a lo-fi piano setting. Um, but there are a lot of really good ones in here. I like Dark Score, is really, really cool. Um, this one is a bit heavy on your CPU though. So even if you're rocking an i7 CPU or a newer Mac, uh, this one is going to be pretty demanding to use. So um, you have to, you know, beware. Um, but it's really, really good. It's got tons of other stuff besides the, uh, the Yamaha C7 variations. And uh, it can get pretty experimental too. You just have to play around with it. Um, this is a really cool one to layer with synthesizers. I like it a lot. And let me just jam a little bit. All right, everyone, I'm going to leave it there. Those are all my favorite lo-fi pianos I'm using right now. Uh, there's links in the description below to all of them. You can get started. And uh, yeah, feel free to leave comments on the ones you like the most. If there's ones I missed you want me to do, or if you feel like you want me to do a more in-depth review of some of these piano sounds, I'm happy to do it. And that's all I've got for now. So I'll see you all in the next video. Have fun making music. <laughs>